Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and we're going to have another yoga talk. So today we're going to talk, be your own guru. So what does it mean? So sometimes we feel ourselves powerless because we don't have the control. We don't know how to control our emotions, our thoughts, our fears. So we are looking for something or someone to help us. And, but sometimes we we give the power to that person and we think that that person is going to help us or is going to solve the things we need to do ourselves. So for my story is when I started into yoga, I wanted to really have that spirituality and all that mystic, the involved yoga. Then when I started to take different courses and workshops and stuff like that, read different people, I realized that when I was in the workshop, when I was with, this, with the people or with the teachers, I feel really good. I feel really centered in the mood. But then when I was by myself, I was coming back to the same. Then I said, okay, so maybe I need a, a better teacher, a, a better a guru, a master. And I was looking, 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 looking for that master for a while. Then when I went to India, I was super excited because I'm going to find um, a person for me to guide me. But then I started to realize the master, the teacher, the guru is the same person as us. It has the same fears. It has the same situation. It's going to deal with the same situations. So what is important for us is learn their experience, their knowledge, as the same as we read a book and we have the knowledge or sometimes with interview with people we realize that they are in the same situation of us and we learn from there and that is the, the important part collect all this information and then do it in ourselves you know and this is very funny because sometimes in the teaching courses that we have the people is very eager to learn and do the things and to the okay if you want to calm your emotions, you, you do this, you do that, or even in the first week of the course, we say, okay, perfect, so now you have to do this exercise to get more, um, get better the pranayama and the exercises, but then realize that the people wants to do it, but they don't do it, and it's the same for everybody, so then what is the key here? We need somebody to tell us what to do, we need somebody who is behind us, we need to go to workshop and workshop and master and teacher to bring us to the point that is all ourselves. It's ourselves. It's to take again the power of ourselves to understand that I need to do this to be better. I need to stop this or I need to continue this. Take the decisions every day, every single breath. It's not like I always um, think like uh, people say like, oh, I do mindfulness, I do meditation. And uh, I always think like a mindfulness is not an activity. Mindfulness is not something we do on Thursday at seven and that's it. I'm, I'm gone and I come back to normal. No, mindfulness is that part of ourselves that every breath, every time we are really fully in. Of course, this is... Um, a practice and a training sometimes we are really in sometimes we're gonna move away sometimes we need to come back and that's okay that's part of the of the life you know what I mean but always to have that awareness that there is not something or someone who is gonna fix us or is gonna guide us is ourselves and as much time as we take to really go into ourselves and be honest with ourselves and say like a, okay I am this, I am that, I am like that, I'm like that. Then less power we're going to have. Because sometimes we, we have this idea of when something goes wrong, we always look, it was your fault, it was your fault, it was your fault, it's you, it's that, it's that. So we always put the blame in the other ones. And very rare we tell like, okay, what I did, you know. Let's forget about the others, what I need and what I need to learn. That is the important part, that we really are honest with ourselves to understand what we need. But the most important, that we give us the opportunity to make mistakes. And if somebody come to you and point your mistakes and blah, 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 
Just take a deep breath and understand that that person doesn't know you. The only person that that person can point is to themselves. So it's somebody who, again, is looking for somebody else to blame the situation, but is not taking their own responsibility. Of course, we are all have we all have the responsibility. But in reality, when we take our side, doesn't matter what the others do, because it's just what I need for myself, what I need to learn for the next experience, what I need to protect myself as well. And then is when we really take back again our control. And then we start to listen our inner self, to listen and find that power in our self that's going to guide us in our life. And it's going to give us those um, advice. Um, it's going to tell us what to do. It's our intuition. It's our selves. Uh, all, always I say to in my classes, like, uh, okay, in that part of meditation course is about the positive introspection and in that positive introspection is not to, to hide what is wrong it's the opposite is to okay what is wrong what is negative in me what is bothering me and how can I overcome to that and how can I do it so for example a simple idea you know for me when I was more younger it was more like a, oh it have to be me you know me the one who is this me 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 you know a little bit egocentric and then I start to realize that what it was bother me is when somebody else started you know what I mean and then it was like a, mm, it's my turn and I was hungry and I was oh but sh she or he didn't do well because this you know that critics very strong critics and with the time, I start to learn that mm, it's not them. It's not because that is what I am feeling. I don't want to share the cake. And then I start to talk to myself more, more, more. And sometimes I was with my mom and I was like, why I have this feeling, you know, that it's just me. It has to be me, the only one good in this world. And then always my mom told me like, um, the sun shine for everybody you know the do we all have the the opportunity to shine we have all the opportunity to be good that we all deserve good you know and then it start to be kind of my mantra you know all this are good all this are good blah 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 and it start to be like that so i start to feel more cool down but until i was not honest with me you know, because we can keep going in that loop, you know, that, oh, yeah, she did well, but this. Oh, he did well, but, you know, the but. That critics is strong to the others. That sometimes it's because it's something in ourselves that we feel envy, that we don't want to share, and there's something we have to work with ourselves. And when we really open ourselves and we become really honest, it's when we find that master, that spirituality. And always, when I read philosophy of Buddhism or um, Hindu, philosophy, Hindu philosophy, very, very deep behind lines is always yourself. It's to quiet your mind. It's to listen to your inner self. It's to find your inner power. And that is something, that's why I say, find your own guru. Be honest with yourself. Stop looking for who have the right or the wrong. What is right and wrong for you. What you have to solve in yourself. And in that moment, you will start to be your own best friend. That is something I love to say to my students. Be your best friend. The person to help you, support you, guide you, love you unconditionally, and is there for you. And when you find that part in yourself, then you will find your master, your guru. Because the master, the guru, is there to tell you what is right and wrong. When you make mistakes, he's going he's gonna to guide you to find a way. When you find a way, he's going to say, well done. And that is something we have to go ourselves. We need to come back to that uh, self-power, self-understanding, and be our best friend. We come alone to the world, we live alone this world, so we need to create that strong relationship, friendship with ourselves, 
And the first step is to be honest with ourselves. Stop with the others and be with ourselves. And then, of course, we're going to have experience with people, get involved. Some people are not in the same um, line of us. Sometimes we help people and people don't come back to you and stuff like that and problems and things. That's okay. But when you take just your own responsibility, then you realize it's just up to me, the rest. Okay, so for example, other example that I want to tell you to keep it more clear, simple example, you know, like for example, when you are in the supermarket, you know, and you are doing the queue for the supermarket, and then somebody jump the queue, you know, and just go straight away and go and stuff like that. And then we have, I remember always saying, like, okay, I have options, you know, one is to get very pissed off, don't say nothing, but get pissed off and go and piss off with every with myself. And then after the first person I can, I just explode. Other one, confront to that person, create a problem for something extremely simple. Or the third one, what I need myself. Do I need to fight? Do I need to get angry? No. This person's job is not my problem. This person doesn't respect others' space. It's okay, but I don't need the other things. And then I just literally let it go and say like a Fabi doesn't need this and Fabi is not like that and this person one day will understand but it's not my problem and believe me you find peace you find that peace that we are looking for we find that peace that we go to workshops of meditation liberation and mindfulness to find that but the real the real thing is going to change in ourselves is when we put it on board in our daily activities. No matter how more big books we read, no matter how many workshops we take, no matter how many podcasts we listen, until we put it in our daily activities, be that guru, be that guy, be that person you want to be in your, in your daily activities, then the things are going to change and you're going to find your spirituality, your spirit. That is the spirituality. Find your spirit. And then we will realize that all we have a very good spirit. Compassion, lovely, in harmony. But sometimes our own conflicts, they create conflicts. Start, we start to blame the others and we don't realize that the things have to change for ourselves. That we are nobody to tell the others what to do. We need to put limits. Because sometimes people is not in the same frequency of us and they don't understand and they are not honest with themselves as well. So it doesn't matter. But I'm honest with myself and I'm happy with myself. And that's the important part. Take back your power and be your own guru. So tell me your experience finding that spirituality, that guy, that master. And how do you find it? And if it's matching what I, I am saying. And let me know what you think. I really like to love your read your comments and help me to as well to grow, you know. I think some sometimes I was looking for that super master. And then I start to realize the from the people I learned more for people who was talking with me in the street. I remember one, I, this is lovely. Um, I, I was playing flute in a, in a band, you know, in a wood band. And there was, uh, beside me was sitting uh, another uh, flautist. And this woman is the woman with most compassion, natural compassion, you know. Probably she never read nothing about spirituality or anything, but her soul, always compassion, always understanding to the others, always so, so nice, you know, like a people can come and say like, oh, these people, this, 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 and she will like, oh, but maybe she have problems, maybe she needs a space, you know, always that compassion naturally. And I remember always say like, a, wow, you know, compassion is something we have to apply with everybody, no matter if we like them or we don't like them, is something that we cannot say, oh, this person deserves my compassion, this person, or oh, this person, yes. 
And I remember with that care, it was my first learning of what is really compassion. Because I always say it's easy to be nice with the people is nice with us. But when the people is not nice, nice with us, it's so hard to deal with the situation and be compassion. But maybe you don't have to be when you are in the situation that you need to at a certain point put limits and move away of the situation. Maybe you're going to be that nice because sometimes we have to be hard. But when you move away in your heart, in your mind, go well. I do this as well as me, but I, just, I protect myself and I love myself. And I don't gonna let others go over me. So, what do you think? I think son is I, from experience, from my own experience, I think it's fantastic to find your own guru, your own master, your own guy, to find yourself, your inner self, you strength, and be your best friend, that person that every day every morning every night is with you supporting you and there will be days that you're going to be devastated because life is positive and negative remember that and some days we're going to be devastated that's fine but if we are okay we feel bad i am bad i'm not good but i need to take care of myself as well so i need to do things to help me and that will help us more with our mental health but the most important with grow our willpower because sometimes we feel powerless and we think there's going to be a pill, a person, our shop, our this, our that, who is going to help us to come up. No, it's only ourselves. It's only ourselves, our self-compassion, our self-love, our self-power. So be your own guru. Thank you for listening to me and I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any question or you want to talk about something else, I'm really happy to share with you all this experience. My name is Fabi. This is Sacred Body Studio. You find us on Instagram. And anytime, send us a comment to be in contact. See you in the next video.